It kind of boggles my mind that this little stick, about the size of a pack of gum, is so powerful that it can replace like half the gear in a home entertainment setup. This is the Roku Streaming Stick Plus, and whether you're a full-on cord cutter or you're just now getting into streaming Netflix, I'm gonna highly recommend that this be the device you get, even if you have a smart TV or a game console that can stream from Netflix, Voodoo, or Hulu. The reason, Roku's interface and its search. Now, it's not a perfect device, but it's got a ton going on for it, enough for me to say this is the best streamer of the year. Here's what comes in the box. You get the Roku Streaming Stick Plus itself. Here is a USB power extension with a wall adapter. That's so that it's a little bit easier to plug into a wall outlet as opposed to a USB port on your TV. This is the power cable itself, and you'll notice there's this big piece here. That's the antenna, and you can't go without this. You have to use this in order to use the device. There's also some batteries for this excellent remote. The remote looks similar to uh, previous iterations, but you'll notice there's some differences here. There's a power key here, and then volume keys on the side. Now, before, this was for a built-in headphone jack, but now it can control both the power and the volume of your television, and it figures that stuff out automatically. I'll show you that later. To install the stick, you want to grab your mini USB provided cable, the one with the uh, Wi-Fi antenna connected. You have to use this. If you don't connect this, it won't work. Go ahead and slip this into your HDMI port of choice, and then from there, you can take the USB tip and plug it directly into the TV, but that's gonna take a little bit longer to boot up. You're gonna have to wait for the device to start up every time you turn on your TV. To avoid that and have the Roku be always on, just use the wall adapter and the power extension and plug that into wall power. Setting a Roku up is about as easy as it gets, although if you have an established Roku account, it could be a little time consuming as it goes through and downloads a bunch of apps. The coolest part of the setup for the Streaming Stick Plus is the addition of your TV control. It'll simply ask you if you hear music playing, and if you do, you tell it yes, and if the music stops, you tell it yes, and voila, you can now control your TV's power and volume with the Streaming Stick Plus remote. If you used a Roku before, you know all about the interface. It's sort of app-based in a grid, a lot like your phone, so it should seem familiar. I do have to say that after using it for several years, I feel like it's starting to feel a little on the dated side. It's not as polished as, say, the Amazon Fire TV interface or Apple TV 4K interface, but it's still highly functional. Uh, some of the apps feel a little bit uh, scaled down from the versions that you find on competing set-top boxes, but um, overall, it's perfectly usable, and more importantly, it's really easy to understand. In terms of app loading time, it's the fastest I've ever seen a streaming stick pull up apps. It's dangerously close to the uh, Roku Ultra that uh, we use um, in our media system. Uh, not quite as snappy, but I mean, this is gonna be more than sufficient for most users. The Plus in Streaming Stick Plus really represents 4K and HDR. That's the big addition over the standard Streaming Stick, which is $20 less expensive. That's just HDR10, though. This stick does not support Dolby Vision, which isn't going to be such a huge deal to most folks. And of course, if you have a TV that can handle Dolby Vision anyway, you can use the internal app that came with the television. Otherwise, it does support Dolby Atmos audio, which is excellent. That's the best surround sound format there is. So whether you're using a soundbar or a full-on home theater system with Dolby Atmos, you're gonna get the best sound from any streaming service. So should you buy the Roku Streaming Stick Plus? Well, my answer is an emphatic yes. This is my favorite streamer this year. I grant you it's not perfect. The user interface may feel a little bit dated by comparison to some of the newer 4K streamers out there but it's still super user friendly and it has the best search out there. You can search across all the different apps and it'll show you what you want to watch and whether you can watch it for free. That's a big deal to me. Also, a big deal is the addition of the power and volume controls for your TV. Now you can throw that remote in the drawer and never look back. That's great, especially for people who use a Roku in their bedroom for almost all their entertainment. And at the end of the day, for 70 bucks with 4K and HDR, it just can't beat it. It's super user friendly. It's got great video and audio quality, great app interaction. It's just the ideal device.
Introducing Roku Streaming Stick Plus. Powerful and portable with long range wireless. Enjoy brilliant HD and 4K picture quality plus vivid HDR color. Stream in rooms further from your router with the long range wireless receiver and even take it with you when you travel. It's smooth streaming made easy no matter where you're watching. Use the voice remote to search for entertainment. Quickly launch channels and control your TV's power and volume. Stream the newest and most popular channels, plus a massive selection of free TV, live news, sports, family entertainment, and more. Everyone pack your bags! <laughs> Roku Streaming Stick Plus delivers it all at an amazing value. There's a Roku player for everyone. Happy streaming!